Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So let's see what we have for you tonight. I'm going to use the um, Woodland Wardens animal cards of anticipation at the bottom. <laughs> Maybe you're anticipating me starting this reading for you. So just put into the forefront of your mind anything that's going on right now for you. What is what your thoughts are, what you'd like to know. And we'll see what we have for you. So the more energy you put into this, so if you like it, if you comment on it, um, it just helps me to connect with your energy. We have the snake and fern starting over. So this could be a new beginning for you, like a shedding of a skin. You're starting to realise something, something needed to be shed in order for you to, to move forward. And we also have the cat and the lavender as well, which is independence. So maybe you've had a realisation of just how much you enjoy your independence. Maybe before you've kind of surrounded yourself with lots of people, but you're kind of realising you're being more selective about what you allow into your energy, what you allow around you at this time. Okay, you've been through a bit of a healing process. Um, when I say healing, it's sort of like... You know, that can be on any level, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, um, any level at all. And mm, for some of you, I just got there. Because we have five aspects of the being. We have physical, mental, emotional, spiritual and sexual. And I feel like someone here has been working more on the last two. And it's about bringing healthy boundary and an understanding of the self. So understanding what your needs are and how maybe in the past you've kind of put your energy forward for other people first and wanted validation off of the people through those areas, through that aspect of yourself. And this is kind of changing for you now. You're changing with that. So let's just pick your runes right now and see what we have for you. We have Urus, so this is about transformation. There's a determination within you to transform something, an aspect of your life that you're just tired of it now, it's not working for you anymore. And we have Ingwas, so this is an energy of trust in the process, trusting in what you're being guided towards. There's something about union as well in this because Ingwas contains the balance with feminine and masculine, a little bit like Gebo but more in terms of like how masculine and feminine comes together to create. And it's almost like it creates there. This is the egg that creates that life force. And you're starting to realise and balance your inner masculine and feminine aspects. For some of you, so say if you're masculine here watching, you may be more acknowledging your female, your inner feminine. So that could be getting more in touch with your emotional side and if you're the feminine here this might be more working with your masculine which is more taking action feeling like you are standing on your own two feet let's see what else we have and we have nordis this has been coming out a lot lately so this is about you really understanding that balance so that you can align with your purpose and your soul needs so you felt restricted before and you haven't really opened up and been honest about your purpose or what you want from life. You've just kind of been coasting a little bit, going along with things. But now something's kind of happened in your life, I feel, that's whether it's happened because of somebody else changing um, or whether it's that you have taken yourself onto a spiritual journey um, like an awakening journey if you like you're loosening some bindings um, you're allowing yourself to expand whereas before there's been restriction that you mistook as comfort you mistook it as something that was safe and actually now you've started to realize it's not safe it's stopping me from really truly being free in myself in my own way Sorry, i got a really itchy nose. <laughs> Don't they say that means you're going to come into some money? <sighs> so let's see what we have. 
for you. Okay, we're back to Korea again. And success. So I do, when that Nordis comes out on there, I do feel for many of you this is about um, changing your career, changing what you're doing. I think before you've just been coasting along in something just because it brings you some money in. Whereas now you're starting to realise like actually there's more to me than people realise and I want to do this. I want to express more of myself. I want to bring more of my gifts out. Okay, we have not unsuccessful plans. Now that goes in line with Nordis because this is your belief. This is your maybe lack of belief in yourself. But it's also suggesting that there's something you're tied into that's kind of holding you in a place of feeling powerless, feeling like you don't have the power. Don't have the power. I've just got, um, is that Austin Powers? <laughs> no, it's, um, it doesn't matter. I can't remember what it's off now, but it's off something. You might know. If you know, drop it down in the comments. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So you're not far off track, but there's something that you need to do um, to figure this out, to bring this to you. We have bird flying. So there is news on the way. So if you've been waiting for a job to come in, if you've been waiting for news on a new job or something that's a new venture to do with your career it is on its way it is on its way but something needs to happen about this not you need to do something about that okay so it doesn't restrict you any further what else do we have for you do we have for you I do feel like you feel you've been judged your character's been judged here as well in some respect um, which has left a bad taste in your mouth okay someone will try and make you do something against your will so that could be to do with the not um, the unsuccessful plans so it's almost like there's a need to protect yourself here or stand your ground stand up for yourself that's what Uruz is kind of suggesting on there. There's a determination within you, a transformation. Um, discord among friends or family. So maybe what you want to do or the direction you want to take, not everybody's up for it. Not everybody thinks it's right for you. And it does feel like people are going to club against you to try and make you perhaps stay where you are. But, you know, we pulled the card independence and starting over so this is a test for you it's to see just how much you're willing to work at it what you want now that cat is number 10 in the deck which is also the wheel and the wheel is all about learning karmic lessons it's about um, change and fate and I feel like that's kind of where you're at right now is like you're realizing I am in control of my destiny which leads to my fate you know there are many different paths that you can take that lead to your fate but ultimately you're learning it's on you it's on you to decide rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over so you've come through quite a lot with Uru showing on there okay and you are being guided like there's a little bit further to go but please trust in the process trust that you are being guided here We also have mountain road. You are on the road to success. Okay, so if you were worried that you weren't heading in the right direction, then don't because you are headed in the right direction. We've got egg again. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So there's definitely a need to work on something. This sounds very similar to the reading that I did earlier today. And so if you needed to hear this more than once, then here it is. Okay, so... Yeah, if you've been listening to many of my readings lately, it's all kind of talking about this, you, you needing to change your path, release that knot, whatever it is that's around you, because there is news on the way of something coming in, um, but there is going to be things working against you that's going to upset you, I feel. It's going to be difficult to accept that, but you still need to honour yourself, honour your process, trust your process. 
an older man dealings or relationship with an older man so this could be somebody in power that is going to help you i feel like this could be somebody that could offer you some work actually um that is part of this career success that you're going to have so this person is who you could possibly be hearing news from very soon so if you know who that is then great if you don't know yet then you soon will do table it's done it again this was exactly the same as the reading we had earlier right career and table look almost identical they've got the same symbols on so this is hard work ahead okay so i don't i can't stress enough how you are going to have to put the work in to achieve this but it will be worth it and you're also going to prove to yourself just what you're made of just what you do have if you're like oh i can't be bothered today or i'm not going to do this all you can expect really is the same from your life okay but you're not happy with where you are right now you're not happy with what's going on now you might be shouting at me going like yeah yeah i'm fine <laughs> but we know deep down that there's more that you want okay there's more success that you want you're not feeling fully established fully in your power you know that you could achieve more and you want to achieve more let's not pretend so again acts forces working against you you have got forces working against you and that's usually because people don't like to see you doing anything different to what you normally do that's an ego thing the ego is comfortable with what it knows it's not comfortable with what it doesn't know and other people might be trying to sway you sort of going like well that's not that's a bit risky say for instance if you've been in a employed position and you're now choosing to go into a self-employed position people may feel like oh that's a bit risky though isn't it because what if you don't make any money and we're about to hit a recession and blah 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 if you listen to those people you're not being guided you're not trusting the process you're not trusting your own intuition lightning control your anger or you will be sorry so this might get to you this might trigger you it might make you feel anger and sometimes when we're angry or upset we say things we don't mean or we can do things that we don't really want to do um so just be aware of that just be aware of not reacting try and find a way to proact so that can be making sure if somebody riles you or is chipping away at you you pause you take a step back you observe and then respond when you feel ready. So clouds, temporary problems, but the ladder is saying climbing towards success. So you're going to have a period of time where it's going to feel difficult. It's going to feel like an effort, okay? And you may be feeling like, I don't really want effort. I don't really want to have to fight for this. But it will be worth it. It will really, really be worth it. Trust it. I'm going to get some tarot out now on the situation. So let's see, we've got death and rebirth on the bottom of the deck there. These are the Llewellyn cards, these are the Welsh cards. So they felt like they wanted to come out tonight to talk about this. <clears throat> so let's see what this situation is. What is Uru's kind of suggesting on here? Oof. Okay, so there's a need to stand in your power at this time um now the queen of wands is an energy of somebody who is very very confident who knows their power knows their ability and has the ability to bring to her whether you're male or female doesn't matter but bringing things to you sunflowers might be significant with this as well <clears throat> so if you're starting to see sunflowers pop up Perhaps you've got sunflowers in your garden or in your home or something, or you're going to be gifted some sunflowers. When the sunflowers arrive in your life, that's when you're going to know you're at a real turning point and things are about to change. There is mountains to climb. There are things to overcome. I do feel that this um, Queen of Wands can also represent somebody who you admire in terms of inspiration. Okay, this could be a female in your life that is inspiring you to be the best version of yourself. Okay, so that could be a family member, it could be a partner, um, it could be a friend, it could be anybody. 
but it's somebody that you you are inspired by and maybe could support you in finding the best finding the most confident way through this finding the way out of struggle basically so any more for Uru's let's have a look hmm, okay it could be a lover it could be somebody that maybe um yeah okay so this could be somebody that you feel a bond with maybe a soulmate connection so again it doesn't have to be a romantic partner it could be like a really close friend but there's something about this queen of wands that you can trust and that's part of this is like knowing what you can trust in your life knowing what works for you what you're heading towards let's have a look now for the empress is trying to pop out there as well there's a lot of um, feminine energy around this the cat and the queen of wands but it's like um, an energy of the real powerful feminine that has the ability to sort of like take ownership of things take responsibility and you know that kind of person that just seems to be able to keep going that's the energy of Urus it's like just that ability to keep going nothing really gets in the way of your stride nothing stops you <laughs> got that song popping in my head now ain't nothing gonna break my stride okay and this is something that you have been trying to manifest for yourself is that ability to find your power stand in your power you're you're manifesting um a real confidence within yourself, a true confidence within yourself. I think that's Stonehenge in the background. I love these cards. Um, so if you're not from the UK, we have a place, a very spiritual site called Stonehenge, and that's basically what that is in the background there. Um, so there's a wish being fulfilled at this point here, and it's like it's been handed to you, but you've got to put the work in for it. You've got to put the effort in for it, okay? It's like everything's suggesting here. You've got to climb towards success. Difficult parts are over. You're on the road to success, but it's still suggesting there's still work to be done. Um, but your wish is being granted. It's being heard, okay? But wishing on a star is not enough. You have to put the effort in. You have to take action that aligns with what you want. Okay, so let's have a look. What is it that you want? Let's have a look. What do you want most at this time? No way. We've got the king of wands now. <laughs> That's really unusual. So we've got a coupling here. Now it's interesting because I feel like whoever I'm talking to here wants to have this solid counterpart i feel like you want to have a union with somebody else that's what this ingwas is talking about that's what i'm seeing now is that you see this is like a power couple kind of thing and the career you're looking towards the work that you're looking to do it almost feels like you need to collaborate with somebody else to achieve it like a power couple kind of energy i'm getting from that so do you need to hear that because you need to understand that that is what you want? Um, so like, Chris, we've got the lovers and this wish fulfillment. These are the cards we've got so far, which are kind of showing about like divine counterparts to, to like masculine and feminine coming together, whatever your um, orientation is. It's about bringing it together like a soulmate connection that is a wish fulfillment that's going to drive some form of career. It's like you don't want to do it on your own. You want to do it with somebody else. You want to do it with this particular person. Okay. But I don't know if they... Maybe this hasn't been spoken of, though. It's like this is kind of under wraps. It hasn't been spoken about. But you feel that you need this person by your side with you in order to achieve this is what I'm getting from that 
So let's have a little deeper look into Ingors right now. So what is Ingors telling us about this? And maybe this person has taught you how to be independent. Hmm. So yeah, there's been some crossroads, if you like, some decision-making time. And it's almost like you you don't know which way to turn and that's kind of put you at a bit of a stalemate position. So I feel like this is something that you're wishing for but haven't actually expressed yet. You haven't really opened up um, a conversation about this. And that might be because you're afraid of disappointments, of being disappointed um, or of things not going the way that you would like them to go. But still, you'll keep it like that knot. Do you remember when we had that knot? Yeah, so unsuccessful plans. It's like, that's how you're feeling, is that because something has a hold over you, it's stopping you or blocking you from this abundance. So it goes on here. Oh, okay. But like we say, there is good news on the way. There's a conclusion to this. You've made a conclusion. You've made a choice, I feel. It's like you're not, you've taken the blindfold off. You're not confused anymore. So why the Eight of Wands? What are you telling us there? Mm, okay. This is because there's an energy of um, being independent. And I feel like this person, you see them as... Um, I don't know if they're single or you're single, but it's sort of like someone really standing in their power, in their independence. And I keep seeing this image of somebody being watched that's inspiring um, and kind of looks like they've got everything together. They've got their shit together, basically. And that is something that you would like. And I see somebody that's kind of Working on a list almost of like achievements or things that you want to achieve. Maybe you've written a list out of like your skills, what you offer. And you're trying to figure out a plan or a way that you can collaborate with somebody that inspires you and that has drive, it feels like. And that's what you're looking for is you want some enthusiasm, some drive. You've got Ten of Cups on the bottom as well. So this is a fulfilment too. It's like a content feeling of harmony and joy and things coming together and family. It's like maybe that's what you want here is to feel... It's like you want to feel safety within something, but it's connected to your work and relationship as well. That's what I'm feeling. So why Nordis? Let's see what Nordis has for us on here. What is Nordis all about? Look at Nordis. Ooh. Sometimes you go into a bit of a trance when you're shuffling these cards. <laughs> then you like forget what you're doing. Okay, so Nordis. Let's see. What do we have for Nordis? What do your soul needs right now? Temperance. So there is a real purpose to this. Um, there's something that you need to understand that you are being guided along this path because there is a purpose to it. Okay. There's a need. But it takes, it's going to take time and consistency is what I feel. What else do we have for Nordis? Nordis. Getting a song Red Red Wine by UB40 keeps popping into my head. So maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody likes drinking red red wine or maybe that band means something to you. Kind of 
Come on, what's in here for Nordies? Let's see. Triumph and victory, something that you can be proud of. And I feel like that's a lot of what's going on here. That's why we've got the Nine of Pentacles on there, is when you, when you think of your future, you see this, you see yourself in a like union and it brings with it a lot of good fortune it's something that you've been wishing for but it's also driven by triumph and pride and you know really sort of standing out as just being self-made and having everything that you need and want being abundant basically We've got the high priestess on the bottom so i do feel like you've been having some maybe dreams about this or perhaps you've had a dream about this and you can't shift that you keep having flashbacks of it you can't shift that thought that feeling of something that's coming into your life something that's going to change for you but maybe you don't know how it's going to happen yet so let's see how is this going to happen what do we have for you on there whoa so we've got the, how this is going to happen for you is by you making that choice towards your future. Remember what we said about fate and the difference between fate? So fate is kind of like the weird and it's, imagine it like a web. Your fate is in the centre of that web. And destiny is like the strands coming off the web and there are many of them. And they all lead to that centre and they all have different vibrations. Now you've made a choice on the vibration that suits you the most and you can't stop looking at it now you can't stop seeing it and once you've seen something you can't unsee it and I feel like because of that you are feeling inspired and guided in that direction and you can't seem to shake that feeling shake that thought we have the ten of pentacles now on the bottom again this is about that kind of abundance in a family environment I do feel that this makes you feel safe. It makes you feel content and aligned with your true purpose by being in this um, union. And like I said before, Inguas can represent union as well and something that is aligned with your soul. So again, it's like it does feel like a soulmate connection, actually. I didn't think this was going to be a love reading. I thought this was going to be more about work. <laughs> you you need to follow your intuition you need to allow your intuition to guide you there is some things that are being hidden here um maybe how you truly feel and again it's that energy where was it before we got the two of swords and the one we had before which was the five of cups as well there's an energy of like maybe a fear of being disappointed um, a fear of not being right however you know what you're being guided towards what your calling is this is what your intuition is telling you is asking you to look at okay it's time to come out of the cold it's time to stop doing this to yourself so what do we have for you as an outcome the hierophant this is something very traditional um this is a i feel like i've got somebody here that could actually be a spiritual leader in time collaborating with another spiritual leader and together combined creating a really powerful pair that is bringing a lot to the world um a lot of healing um working through a lot of things because of your experiences now the hierophant can also represent sometimes marriage or like things of a traditional nature so it's like a traditional um relationship that kind of thing and i do feel somebody here maybe fantasizes about that kind of relationship you know with the perfect um person perfect home life working together i can see somebody almost like working on like a piece of land or something living very simple self-sufficient that kind of thing and that feels like and i'm getting a real shame any energy from this as like sort of yeah, like a shaman couple kind of working together um, with different skills, but bringing something in. There's definitely something to do with music as well on this. So whether that is um, music that is being brought into this space together, um, or whether one of you is more of a musician than the other, 
um, but there's definitely something about music. We have that five of cups on the bottom again. So it's like, you know, you keep doubting this. You keep doubting whether this, this can actually be. Yeah. And we have the five of pentacles on the bottom as well. So it's like, there's a fear, I think, about being able to make this happen. And that might be because before, like we said, there are people that aren't going to agree with your career choice. They're not going to agree with what you want to do with your life. Purely because they're afraid for you. But you are feeling driven. You're feeling like it's time for this change. It's time to transform things. Let's get an outcome on here for you. Then. What outcome are we looking at at this point? This is guided, though. I feel like there's some kind of energy that's guiding this. It's like trying to bring it into your life. The only thing that's holding you back right now is yourself and the outcome is showing as um, an ability to sabotage things purely through not doing anything about it, purely if you, through leaving this as a fantasy in your mind and carrying on sort of like just in an inner reflection, taking a long time over a decision. And sometimes, sometimes it's good to have patience, sometimes it's good to leave things and wait, but then there's other moments where it's like, actually, maybe it's better to just take the ball by the horns and go for it. So we have the magician here. It's almost like what you want to happen, instead of having fear over it, you need to start alchemizing your skills, your abilities, and having confidence in this, having confidence in what you can actually manifest, because... I feel like you've already started to manifest this in your life, otherwise it wouldn't be coming out in this reading right now. But you've got to believe and trust in the process. Trust that this is divinely guided. Trust that this is in line with your soul needs. Um, you're getting these intuitive downloads. You're getting signs that this is the way forward for you. And I do see somebody being a teacher here. Um, and like I say, I feel like it's more in the spiritual arts rather than anything else. Okay. I'm going to leave this reading here. If this resonates with you and you would like to go deeper into this, then please do get in touch. My details are down in the description box so we can do a personalised reading for you. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this. I want to say thank you for the support um, that people have given me, giving likes and comments recently. Um, I will always try and respond as well, um, but I do really appreciate it. So have a blessed evening. Thank you so much.